Hi, it is time for another parking stunt. This time, we will go to Smash Fort. This arena has many walls and ridges to park on, but one object always stood out to me. This massive block here, that is being lifted by this wooden crane. A simple test showed that it is a solid object, so in theory parking there is possible. And that is how the dream was born. It is of course not easy to climb something that is almost floating. Therefore you have to climb via the only thing it is connected to, the crane. So, I begin testing as I always do. Get a speed bonus, bump into the crane, and hope for the best. It seems logical to start from the highest position possible. However, I soon figured that there is no way to gain any height this way, as there is no ramp. So, we need another starting position. If we look at the bottom of the crane, there are these two support beams, which could maybe be used as a ramp. During a normal game you can use this left beam to get on the high platform with spikes, showing that the ramp indeed works. Both support beams have their advantages and drawbacks. The right beam has a long flat space in front of it, so it is easy to approach with high speed. However, this extra support structure may get in the way if we want to climb high. The left beam does not have this problem, but it is more difficult to reach with high speed. I decided that the right beam had the highest chance of success, and so the endless testing began. Right from the start, I noticed a few things. First of all, over 90% of my jumps either went like this, or like this. However, sometimes I could gain a lot of height. The height looks really promising, but it also shows that it is impossible to reach the floating block in this way. The extra support structure pushes us away from the crane. Therefore we need to move around the main beam, and try to climb via the side. We can do this by approaching the ramp at a slight angle. I started trying with this method, and managed to get some very high climbs. You can see that I am high enough to be above the floating block. Now the next step is to make the left turn towards our target. I tried this many times, and I got some close attempts. However, by making this extra left turn, I sacrificed the speed I needed to get high enough. It seemed impossible. But then I had one last idea. For that idea to work it would be necessary to reach this gap above the support beam. So, instead of making a sharp turn left, I tried to turn only slightly. And soon after, this happened. A very cool thing to do by itself, but we want more. Now we know that this is possible, I could proceed with my idea. It is possible to hang on an edge with one wheel and grind away, a bit like a skateboard. If I could reach this upper support beam, and latch my right front wheel on the edge, I could hang on this wheel and gain some extra height. Hopefully just enough to climb on our block. So, to sum up the grand plan. Kill bots, start the celebration at the right moment to take full advantage of the speed bonus, make the perfect turn to climb around the main beam, make a slight left. Latch our wheel onto the support beam, grind our way up, and land on the block. Every step needs to be perfect for this to work. I tried and tried, and then I had this beautiful attempt. It was a near miss, but an important lesson. I was afraid to fall from the support beam, so I steered right while grinding. This causes a slight loss of speed. However, this is not necessary, as shown here in this test. So, for the next good attempt, we just keep our wheels straight. After weeks of testing, strategizing and experimenting, I finally did the impossible.
Look at the wheels in this replay, first a slight left, then straighten the wheels, then lift again at the end of the B. It is almost a tradition at this point to leave you with some carts. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.